All right, today we're checking out a very cool break barrel rifle, the Norica ZRS wood version. And what's special about this one, it's in 25 caliber. This is a beautiful looking break barrel. It's got an adjustable cheek piece and lots of other great features. The coolest thing about it is it has zero recoil. So the action slides within the frame and you literally feel no recoil at all when you shoot it. For more information on this unique brake barrel, just shoot on over to pyramidair.com. There'll be a link in the description. So in this video, we'll give you an up close look at the features and everything. But first, let's get this party started with some shooting. I cleaned the ZRS with Ballastol and a pull through cleaning system. And it's a good thing I did too, because it was super dirty. You don't ever want to shoot a brand new air gun until you clean that preservative gunk out of the barrel. All right, it's very sunny and a little bit windy. We're set up here at a very special 16 yards away. I tried every single 25 caliber pellet that I had, and the only one that it shot well was the FX 25.4 grain. I'm not sure where I'm gonna hit, so I look right here. Whoa. All right, it's definitely windy. Okay, the wind just died down. Oh. Oh, that was the other hole. Not bad, let's do it again. Five shots, four holes. All right, I just did a bunch of clicks over. Here we go. Oh, same hole, baby. So once I got sighted in and the ZRS was starting to get broken in, we were getting solid one inch groups. Here's the official groups with the 25.4 grain FX pellets. Boy, that's awesome, actually. It's five shots right there. Boy, we are ready for some targets. Let's do this. So this bad boy is available in 177, 22, or 25 caliber. You can get the black or red version for about $100 less. But yeah, this wood is definitely beautiful. It also handles awesome. So this is powered by a GRS gas piston power plant. It's got a wooden thumb hole stock. The whole top is anodized aluminum. So they're calling that the compression cylinder. It's got a solid steel breech. Two-stage adjustable trigger. And then as we mentioned, it has the ZRS system to eliminate recoil. In 177, you're looking at 980 feet per second. 22 caliber, 755. And 25 caliber, 590 feet per second. This thing hits hard, this 25. It's coming out of there fast. Got ergonomic pistol grip, hooded fiber optic front sight, and adjustable fiber optic rear sight. It has a 11 millimeter dovetail optics rail that runs along the whole top of the rifle. Automatic safety, I like that as well. The safety is super easy to flick on and off. This wood version has an adjustable cheek piece. So you just loosen those Allen keys and slide that cheek piece up and down. Nice rubber butt pad. Got a barrel length of 19 inches with an overall length of 46 inches and it weighs 8.8 .8 pounds. So one of the things I love about this is those fiber optic open sights. They provide an awesome sight picture. And really this gun would be for plinking it's a ton of fun to hit cans with open sights and other things. I don't know that it would be accurate enough for hunting, unless you were right on top of something. But as far as plinking, ton of fun. Those tubes basically soak up light and spit it out the end. So when you're looking at them in real life, they're very bright. We'll do a trigger test and FPS and sound and all that stuff momentarily. But first, here's some shooting at 16 yards away. I think we're going to lose my scope cam battery part way through this, but oh yeah.
Oh yeah. Oh, that's a pellet tin right there. <laughs> Pop that sucker. Oh man, that was so cool. Oh man, this is the best. Wow, all right. Right here was where my scope cam died. So here's some full frame slow motion of 25 caliber can carnage. It really is a trip and a lot of fun to shoot a spring gun with no recoil. And when I say no recoil, I'm talking like not even a little bit. We'll stretch this out to a longer distance in a minute. But first, here's a look at that trigger. Looks like we've got a trigger pull of just under seven ounces. And then here's what happened when I shot Bugaboo using open sights. So check this out, I shot Bugaboo in the butt with the open sights. Oh my gosh, that's uh, quite a dent there. Did that hurt when I shot you in the thorax? Hell yeah! You're okay though, right? Hell yeah! As you can see, a 25 caliber traveling at just under 600 feet per second is no joke. Unfortunately, the groups with the pellets I was using opened up to about two inches. As soon as I got a little past 25 yards. So hitting the kill zone on a critter with this thing would be virtually impossible. However, I'm going to give you a pro tip. If you really like the wood stock and the form and function and everything about this ZRS, get the 177. The 177 is pushing the pellet a speed that it's very happy at, 900 feet per second. And this right here is a five shot group at, I'm not sure, 25, 35 yards. But watch the 177 video. The 177 ZRS is extremely accurate. So the wood version of the 177 would be pretty awesome. Hell yeah! So for this next segment, I had to drive to the forest. I wanted to use some Firebird targets. So I went ahead and drove up to the forest. When I got to the dirt road, it was a little bit too snowy. So I went home, got a shovel, came back. You guys, I'm backing up to my shooting spot just to make sure I don't get stuck. <laughs> but I also, I also drove home and, and got a shovel. <laughs> so we're gonna make it. Are you freaking serious? Well, you guys, I just heard someone pop. Okay, yeah, that's someone at the next spot popping off round. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some real fast. We had like 27 mile an hour winds going on, but I went ahead and set up on this rock and this right here is an AR-500 target. It's actually called the Zipper from Magnum Targets. This thing will take a hit from an AR-15 without even scratching it. But I went ahead and stuck some Firebird targets on it to give my 25 caliber pellet a little help. I forgot to film the rangefinder, but this was exactly 26 yards away. Not a flasher. Man, that 
we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And then here's that last hit at full speed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, everybody. I appreciate you tuning in. Till next week. Hey, buddy. Happy shooting. How you doing? We'll see you on the next one.